But before I do my uploading, let's uh, show you some components of the saw that I wasn't, uh, didn't think I might have gotten too close on with uh, when I was using the tripod. So there's the insert, right? That's the insert that I've been playing with. It was a new insert, had no, no curves in it, no slices in it. I made the insert fit. They're, they're all made to be sanded to fit. And they have adjustments with set screws for these little feet that allow you to, in these four places, to adjust it so it's good and flat. But look at that blade just kind of melted it. Okay, interesting. I couldn't look at it because I wasn't showing you. I just said look at it. Okay. So there's the blade insert, new insert. There's the the old bad insert. The one that got away with me, got away from me. And see it has a much bigger kerf, which was nice. But we're making this work. And it's uh, you know, it keeps more stuff from falling in and it works it works just fine. So um, there's the Beesmeyer uh, fence, right? So anything, we want something 11 and an eighth inches, that's gonna rip 11 and an eighth. And, and this is adjustable right here and here. It's adjustable so that you can cut something that says 11 and an eighth, or set it to 11 and an eighth, cut it, measure it with your tape, make sure it's dead on 11 and an eighth. If it's not, set this to what it is. And then this should be calibrated so that you don't have to use the tape. You can just use the Beesmeyer uh, tape on the saw. Okay? Uh, for chop saws, this is great. For Really, for table saws. And for, um, I think you saw um, a bunch of them we had on the saws and the stationary power tools at Ud Construction last week in our field trip. And I wanted to show you the height adjustment. This knob here locks it. And then this, this wheel adjusts the blade. As I crank it, blade goes up, blade goes down. Okay, now it indicates the arbor tilt. The arbor tilt is... Uh, <laughs> the arbor tilt is over here, right? It'll unlock it and then it tilts and shows you either, you know, we did it until it got to 30. We're not going to go that far. I'm going to take it back to its positive spot top at 90 and lock it in with that knob. Okay. Okay, here's our dust collection switch. We got a delta dust collection, which we can put on our surface planer, which we will. Let me show you that. And we can put it on our um, jointer, which we will and we need to do. So there's dust collection, 10 inch delta unisaw heart of. Uh, a lot of cabinet shelves, okay? Okay.